Right, I shall see you in just over an hour, just over an hour at Sherman Reed. Right. Good day. Good day. Good day. Don't get lost. I don't think I can get lost. Going up the mountain. Yeah, I do just have a read of what it. Oh, there's no problem with it. Following behind. And we're off. That's Berg Restaurant Hornegley. And we're going to head off round to another Berg restaurant because this is really nothing more than a glorif glorified restaurant crawl through the mountains. Three little piggies. Hello. Right, top of Horn <laughs> Flu. And we're going down into this valley here, which is the Turbuch Valley. And then we'll walk along the river at the bottom into Gestart, which is just behind those trees there. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. It's just coming up to 10 to 2. Lunch. Picnic. Petunias on the side of a chalet, half up a mountain. Nowhere near anyone. Except us, obviously. But then we're nowhere near anyone. So, we've decided to take a slightly shorter route, but only so we can guarantee cake at the other end, because we're entirely motivated by our stomachs. So, we're coming around the side of the mountain into Gestart. The mountain on the right is Wispili, and the mountain on the left is called Vassengrut. Just coming into the top of Gestart, some of the multi million pound homes here. Nice painted garage doors. And we're heading down here past the new one. It's just been built. Gestart High Street. Oh, there's the new spire. Very nice. 6.8 kilometres later. Yeah, that's all we've done, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good morning, vloggies. I figure if I'm a vlogger, you're a vloggie. That's kind of, that's how this relationship's working. Um, I'm just on the way to Lenk to go up a mountain by bus again. Um, because the car only holds five. So I'm getting the train because I have a special ticket that gets me a discount. So I shall see you at the top. We're up the Ifiganalp again. An hour later. So, we might go for a little walk. Up that road there. Heading for a mountain lake. Which I'd be very surprised if we get to. <laughs> But you never know. It is still only quarter to one, which isn't bad. It's where the cheese lives. In the cheese cave. And buy it. Well, we don't want them, whatever, we don't want to be carrying it around now, do we? So no. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Now behind you, you can see the route over to 
It's even Brunen now, quite clearly. Which is over here. Some snow in the gullies and the lake is on top of that ridge. Now this is Groupie by the look of it, which is also a cheese shop. Perfect place for a cheese shop really. And look at that line of trees along the cliff edge up there. Amazing. Lunch time, I think. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens if you try and pet the cow. And he'll try and eat you. Yeah, I'll eat you. <laughs> try again. Just had a bit of a nibble at the restaurant, if you help. And now we're getting back on the bus. Going down the mountain. Larch. FYI. Yeah. So I can give you our New York as a brave overtaking manoeuvre. It's Tuesday morning and I'm on my way to the base station of Rinderberg. That's why I'm in station behind me there. And Hopefully everyone else will arrive in the car in moments, as it's 20 to 12. And last night, I have a bit of footage of next door doing some yodeling, which means it's time for another instalment of Yodlerdorf 010. <laughs> Why is it easier to get six people in an object this size than it is to get six people in a Volvo? Yes, it's a high roof. Uh, I think it's slightly door. wider actually. It is wider. Yeah. It's quite, you don't have to. You only get two in the front, you see, in the Volvo. Yeah, that's mm. the problem. It's a familiar sight, that's uh, Swaziland below us. We're on the top of Windebird. Just getting ready to walk. At least to Hornegli and then hopefully down to Zion Mosa. We shall see. Just along the ridge at the top, looking at some cows. But this cow won't stop looking at me. It's been looking at me for quite a while now. Don't know what he's so interested in. Very odd. Uh, we've bought some cheese. And then we'll cut it in half in Rickman's worth and, yeah. and wrap that's it some cheese. I don't really eat cheese, so... You don't eat good. cheese? Well, and that's some more cheese. Because you can't have too much. I love that. 